Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lana. Today I will be joined by the lovely Milena from Milena Reads and we will play some bookish games and we invite you to play along with us. We will play three different games. The goal of all of them is to guess that book. First, we will play a round of dingbats, then we will say popular titles in our native tongues. For her, it's Dutch. For me, it's Russian. I will have to guess what the other one is saying. And the third game will be a classic round of Guess the Book by its cover. For each of these games, Milena and I have prepared five books and so we will be guessing the five books the other one prepared but you will guess all ten in each of the games. Before we go any further, you should know that there is a sister video to this one on Milena's channel. We played book quizzes from general literary quizzes to can you distinguish this Jane Austen quote from an Ariana Grande's lyric. It was a lot of fun and again you can play along with us so definitely click on that video after you watch this one it will be in the description below. And now let's connect to Milena. Hi! Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I think it's so funny because when we did the previous video, you said my name like almost correctly. And it, it's so funny because no one who is not Dutch can say my name. But, Wait, but now you, you did, say it? You did it like really American this time. So cool. <laughs> how do you pronounce it? <laughs> it? The E is really difficult for people. Like people say Milena, Milena, but it's E like from your throat. Milena. Milena. Yes, it's actually a Slavish name. So I was like, you should be able to pronounce it. Um, okay, so Milena, tell us a little bit about your channel. Hi, I'm Milena. I live in the Netherlands and I mainly read uh, classics, literary fiction, feminist fiction, and a little bit of nonfiction. And when I feel like it, I also like to read a little bit of middle grade, middle grade, and or historical fiction. On my channel, I mainly do vlogs and I really like doing these kinds of fun things with other people because I think one of the best things about booktube is community. 100%. And also she has incredible reviews on her channel that I've really enjoyed. Um, so oh, definitely check out her channel. She's incredible and her vlogs are lovely. And the cats, check out the cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first game that we decided to do is a game that we both enjoyed on Jen Campbell's uh, channel. She's an awesome author and booktuber, and uh, I will definitely link her channel below. She has an incredible video that has like 18 different books that you can guess, and it's so fun. Um, and so we decided to do a similar thing. She called this game Dingbats. I don't know if anyone else recognizes the name. I've never heard of it before, but the concept is very easy. You're shown a series of pictures and when you say what do you see out loud, it makes like, it sounds like a, a very familiar, famous title of a book. I did five books and uh, Milena. Oh, was, was that right? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, that's all so mean of me to say to you. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. I need to, I need to practice. Um, she also prepared five. We have not seen each other's and we will be guessing. Uh, but every time that uh, the picture will come up, you will have 15 seconds of silence when you can also guess and, um, and play with us. I would suggest not putting your answers in the comments. Uh, so that the answers are not available just when you scroll down because I think that will make it more interesting if uh, people definitely have to guess and not just look for the answers. Okay, so I prepared also like a uh, sample example just for you guys at home if you have no idea what I'm talking about. This is a very <laughs> simple... <laughs> way of doing wow. this so you can see a mm -hmm. uh, mac computer and a bathtub and so when you say mac bath <laughs> the book is macbeth by shakespeare <laughs> so this yes, is i love that one it's so clever <laughs> it's very simple and easy uh i tried to making others a little more complicated uh but this is basically what this is okay so we're gonna start with mine Woo. Oh, so 15 seconds when uh, the picture appears. Mm 
and go. Is this like the with the solitude one? No. <laughs> it's like 30 days of solitude. That's a title, right? Uh, that's, that's not the book. No. Is this too I don't common? know this one. <laughs> there. I mean, like a mountain and is that Jesus? Yes. That is, uh, I, I just, I think I just don't know the, the book, maybe. <laughs> I think you do. The, the first word I'm going to give you, the first word is count. Count, mountain, Jesus. I think you should give me the answer. <laughs> I what feel is, so stupid. <laughs> what is Jesus's second name? Last name? Is that his last name? His okay, full okay name. so I, I was raised an atheist, so I don't know. <laughs> Well, he is uh, Jesus Christ, and this is the uh, statue in Rio, the Cristo something. Oh, Monte Cristo, just or what? Yes, it's Count Monte Cristo. This is so clever. This is so clever. <laughs> this might have been too far. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is Count Monte Cristo. No, um, if I... If I've been more into the game, I could have guessed this. <laughs> this is a warm up. This is fine. <laughs> this is you're yes, doing okay. great. Number two. I'm very proud like, of this one. <laughs> Ten doors west. That's what I'm feeling. Um, the, the image with Kanye West is together with the shoes. It's like one picture. Because I, was I wasn't, wasn't sure if you'll just get the shoes. So I needed a broader picture of that. Oh, he, he has are like his sneakers and a name of his sneakers. Yeah. Yes, I'm really not cool enough to know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I will just... The, the name of the brand is Yeezy. But like the 10 doors, that's right, I think. No? Well, just one door. Uh, 10, door, easy. Night. Night. Say Ten that doors fast. tonight. Yes. <laughs> the Eskel Twitch Gerald. Woohoo. <laughs> there you go. Next picture and go. Done. It's like the button line or something like that? No. It's, it's muscles. What muscles are these? Like his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'd read that book. Um, his, his ass. Um, these are the core muscles. Okay, so core and on L, I think, right? Or beer, just L. And the last one? Oh, Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Yes, yes. Yay. <laughs> Next. This one is complicated, but I believe in you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Moby Dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing to do with it it's just this i will oh wait an m and a boat <laughs> no I, I need to do better wait if you put the the first and the second picture together it's a very good clue already to the rest of it m port hands off b in earn west 
I, I don't know. I don't think I know the book. <laughs> it's uh, The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. Oh, you're this so was perfect. too complicated. I knew that this was too complicated. <laughs> but I just had to include it. Um, no, I love it. It's really cool. Okay, and last one from me. And the vitamin D is just a D, right? I think. Yes. So deer and then wine or red. Do I say it, what it is? <laughs> um, it's wine. Oh, yes. So deer, wine, deer, rinds, deer, rinds. And, and the second part? That is a comma. Yeah, deer, rind, commands. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're doing great. Um, does I'm really not. <laughs> vitamin D as D. Deer, wine, comma, D. Dear wine, yeah. comma, D. Dear rhymes. That's all. I feel. It's Divine Comedy by Dante. Yeah, see, I didn't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that is the other problem is I didn't know. What do you know? You know? <laughs> Um, you made them really clever. You fought them so well through. I have been um, way lazier um, than you. <laughs> let's get to yours. Picture number one. Yeah, this one is really easy, I think. <laughs> The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Yay. Yes. <laughs> Next one. David Copperfield by Charles yes. Dickens. Yes, you got it right again. <laughs> Next. Anne of Green Gables? Yes. Is that what gables are? Apparently, I googled this. <laughs> I always thought it was like fields or something. I thought it was nature. Next one. You know it, right? Aristotle and Dante discover the universe, the secrets of the universe. Yeah, the secrets, but that was too much images. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the full title. Oh, at first I was like, wait, wait, <laughs> is that Aristotle? Oh, that was, that was so good. Next one. February, March. The author is not actually called George. Oh, Middle March. Yeah. <laughs> and George Clooney. Ooh, what did he write? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the book on Nespresso. <laughs> <laughs> Nespresso. What else? We are done with the first game. Um, I'm very excited to see how people will do in the comments. Mm -hmm. um, tell us how how well you did and um, now we're going on to the second game which I called bilingualism <laughs> oh my god I love that that's so I cool Google that name okay so because English is for both of us not our first language uh, I speak Dutch you speak Russian and a lot more other languages but because we also sometimes read books in our own languages we are going to read out the titles or the translated titles. In my case, I'm not sure how you are going to do it. 
and we are going to see if we can guess the titles in our native language. Yes. So just to clarify, it's the same, like the words mean the same thing as the original. It's just in our languages. Let's start with yours. We're going to start easy because we discussed this book as well in our quiz video. So I know you know it. Okay. Okay. Woeste hoogten. I will say it again very slow. Woeste hoogte. War and Peace? No, it has the same first um, letters. So Woeste hoogte. And it's by a Bronte sister. Is the, the W nice. and the H? Yes. That's so interesting. Okay, this one has, I'm just going to give you the hint that the last word is the same as, I think, in both English and Spanish. So that might make it a little bit easier. Okay. Liefde in tijden van cholera. Um, mm, 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 mm. Is this... I'll say it again. <laughs> no, you can guess. I don't remember the first, the first word, but it's something in... Uh... Love in the time of cholera? Is it love? Yes! Yes, you're right. <laughs> so it's like, liefde is love, and then in tijden van, in time of, and then just cholera. How do you cholera. say love again? Liefde. Liefde. Oh my god, you said so it perfectly. Cool. <laughs> okay, and in this one, the first word is the same as in English. So that should maybe be a bit easier. But I'm not sure you know this book, so we'll see. <laughs> Portrait van een dame. Portrait van een dame. Okay, so obviously the first one is portrait. Mm -hmm. um, portrait of a lady? Yes. Really? What? I don't yeah. know that book. <laughs> what is uh, yes, who's the author? I it's uh, Henry James, but it's such a famous title that I thought you probably know it. It sounds familiar. I'm just not familiar yeah. with it. Oh, we so, also say, well, oh, we say portrait. Not portrait yes, but it's I think it's like such a general word. word. Yeah. Yes. So lady is dame. Oh, it's the same in Russian, dama. Really? Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Dutch is apparently a little similar to Polish. And Russian is a little similar to Polish, but I, I assume that the parts that are similar are the parts that are different as well. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you're doing so great. You got all of them. This, again, the first word is pretty much the same. And the last word is also very similar. So I think you can get it. Tender is the nacht. Tender is the night. Yes. Nacht? <laughs> Nacht. Yeah, we have this. I said it before. Yeah, cholera and nacht. So things, I think, uh, like in your throat. <laughs> it's like you're joking. <laughs> and there's a T in the end, so it's nacht. Yes. Okay. Uh, this one is a Russian novel, so I thought it would be fun to do the Dutch title of a Russian okay. novel. But mm, it has the same first letters, the first and the second word, but the words are not very alike. So I'm curious if you can guess this one. Dode zielen. Dode zielen. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the second one isn't the same first letter. It just has the same sound. <laughs> just the first. Dode zielen. It, we also discussed it in the quiz, by the way. Dota sounds like nothing, but I know. <laughs> sounds like you... Zillin sounds like something with like land. No. I will give <gasps> Dead you... souls? Yes. <laughs> I just remembered. <laughs> so what is cool. it in Russian? Uh Northway yeah. Dorsi. Oh yeah, that's very different from the Dutch, yes. Those were, you got them all. It's, wow. Listen, you helped me a lot, so. <laughs> uh, it's not all me. Okay, I'm just looking at my list and I'm so scared. It's, okay, so this one has a name of a place in the title. 
So that should help. Okay. Удивительный волшебник из страны Оз. Can you say it slowly again? <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Удивительный волшебник из страны Оз. Which is the place name? The last one. The last word. Удивительный волшебник из страны Оз. The Wizard of Oz. Yes, yes, yes. I got one thing right. Oh my God. <laughs> What is wizard? I want to know how to say wizard in Russian. Волшебник. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. It, it, mm, we'll see. Okay, it's just one word. Alchemic. It sounds like alchemy, but... Alchemic. Can you give me like a hint of a genre or a writer or something like that? You pretty much guessed it. It's just a noun. No, not a noun. It's the person who does that. Oh, wait, I have it right here. The alchemist. Yes, yes. <laughs> I just thinking, I was saying 30 days of solitude, but it's a hundred days of solitude in the oh. video. <laughs> Those wow. titles are too long and they're complicated, so it's okay. <laughs> This one has a similar word. Malinki prince. A prince. Is it a little prince? Yes, yes. W what is little? Malinki. Malinki. Yeah. Okay. This is a Russian classic. Okay. That's really cool. Vaina i mir. War and peace? Yes. Yes, you got it. It's because it's a W, right? It was a W for the first word. Can you say it's it again? It's a V. Vaina. Oh. Vaina oh, is it like, i mir. I've always wondered with vodka and vodka, what is the difference? Do you know that? What? Again? <laughs> you have like the drink. Yeah. And some people say vodka with a W and some with a V, vodka, which is like the Russian Well, word. we have a V, so it's a vodka. We do don't have a W. Have... We do not have a W. <laughs> so every time we see a W anywhere, we have to make it out of U and E together. So it's we. <laughs> you know, we have to make it out of other other sounds because we don't have a W, no. So But it's always V. That, so the people say vodka is just because the W is easier for other people to say, but it's not, there's nothing to do with Russian. There's nothing to do with Russian, no. Now I can explain this at parties when it gets boring, and I say, do you know <laughs> that it's know. vodka in Russian? <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because every time there's uh, someone, for example, like in Sherlock Holmes, uh, Dr. Watson, the, the last name Watson, you can either mm -hmm. write it with a V-A, so we say Watson, mm -hmm. or Ooh, oh, so it's Watson <laughs> because you can't. There is not one right way to to write that name in Russian. And how difficult was it for you to learn to say the W? Because of course your English is like perfect, and you can say well, it really well. Saying it is not the problem because it it's made out of sounds that we already have. We just don't have that sound packaged together. Mm, that okay. makes sense. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes. And last one. Двенадцатая ночь. Oh, that last word sounds so familiar. Is that night? Двенадцатая ночь. This, this sounds, the words, I feel like I've heard it before. <laughs> no. Your Russian dreams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it night? It's like a hundred and one night. It's, the word means night. The first word is a number. Yeah, so I was thinking one hundred, a thousand and one nights, but no, no, I don't know anything with a number at night. It's Shakespeare. Oh, twelve, the twelfth night? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I was like, oh gosh, Shakespeare, Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's it's twelfth night because twelve is dvinatit, and night is not. I think it sounds familiar because it's like a number and the counting. That kind of sounds a bit familiar. 
Really? I was wondering because I did have as one of the options 1984. And I was wondering if you will get that it's numbers. Is there is like, if they do sound different from other words because they're numbers. 1984. Some pieces I could make out that it's probably a number, but I think I would have guessed that it were numbers and words. Yeah, because we don't do the like 1984, we do 1984. Uh, and you don't have the option to just. I think in, in, in French, they do it more difficult as well, right? Oh, yeah. I remember French having to learn that for school and it was an absolute nightmare. Okay, <laughs> in so Dutch, it's very difficult as well because. We say it backwards, some parts. So the first part you say like one nine, and then you say four eight. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I, it enrages me still because every time I have to remember or say a number out loud in Dutch, I do it wrong. I'm dyslexic and it's an absolute nightmare for me. So in my personal life, if I say a number, I just say it in English. <laughs> But then how do you... Mm. Are they different? The words, are they, do they like change a little to make it seem that this is the, I don't know what I'm trying mm -hmm. to say. <laughs> yes, they are a bit different, but it's like, you go like this and then like this. It's, it's really confusing. This is so interesting. This was a lot of fun. I'm so proud of us that we guessed this. This was so fun. And it's so yeah. interesting always, you know, learning the classics are so familiar to us, even if we haven't read all of them, there are certain titles that you just, you've, you've heard them all your life and uh, mm -hmm. hearing how they sound in someone else's head because of their culture where they're from, it's so interesting. And also the fact that I could, like I made connections when you said, you know, what, that, what does that word sound like to me? Like when you did that souls, souls, how did you say that? Zealand. Zealand, to me that I thought of, well, first of all, I thought of New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought of uh, the Russian word for land, which is zimla. And I was like, oh, maybe it's something with land. But there is no, there's no logic behind that. It's just my brain made the connection. And it's just, I think languages are so interesting. And uh, yes, we all learned something new today. It's funny that you thought of New Zealand because New Zealand comes from Zeeland, which is a place in the Netherlands. So it is a Dutch word. So <laughs> it's just incredible what we're learning today. <laughs> the <blog cafe. laughs> it was a podcast thing. It was so valuable. <laughs> okay, but now we're on to the third game, which is yes. um, guessing the book based on the book cover. Now, this one it was another one that I was. Uh, Scared of because we, again, we come from different countries and the classics and the books that we read, the editions are different than the ones that are well known in the US and the UK. But there are certain ones that I think are universally known, but I guess we'll just find out today. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Okay, we're doing the 15 seconds again. I think this is like, you don't really have to think. You just, you know it or you don't. But True. Okay, we'll not do the 15 seconds. Okay, if you need to pause this video, just pause it. <laughs> if you don't want mm -hmm. to hear us. Okay, <laughs> go. I have not seen this cover before, I think. Do you have any ideas? of what does it look like? It looks like a book that's nature-based, maybe. It is An fantasy. Angel. Fantasy, oh well then. <laughs> But it's like a classic fantasy. Now, I've never seen the cover before, so I think it's, it's very Written to by get. Tolkien. Oh, just Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit? This is The Hobbit, yes. The Hobbit. Um, there are other editions of the books and some of, a lot of them are based on this artwork. So I thought it would be familiar. Okay, next one is... I, it's Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. Yes, Margaret Mitchell. I, I saw the movie, so of course I recognize the actors. Yes, uh, I think that's why most people would recognize the mm -hmm. covers because of the movie, the iconic movie. He looks as if 
is if he knows what I look like without my shimmy. Hot. Let's go next. <laughs> oh, this is the book thief by Mar Suzek. Marcus Zusak. Suzek. Yes. <laughs> this is also, I think, such an iconic book cover. Mm -hmm. And it's just so pretty. Next one. Oh, it is. Oh, I'm just going to wait for a little bit because otherwise I'll just scream it before anyone can guess. Scream but it. You can sing it out. <laughs> That's not going to happen, but <laughs> this is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Yes. With the little girl, you will recognize her everywhere. There are so many covers that are different variations on like the picture with this girl. And I thought this one was very pretty. <laughs> She's always there. <laughs> Next one. Oh, that I know I recently read this. It is The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. Yes, The Graveyard Book. Actually, I never noticed that there is a face on the gravestone until oh, I- Oh, it's like with out. the hair, right? Yeah, like, look, there's like a face. Oh, like his nose and- I never noticed that until I took out the, um, the title because, mm. well, I guess then I was not distracted by words. Um, <laughs> and these are it for my books. Let's go see what you have prepared for us. Normal People, Sally Rooney. Yeah, you yeah. can just do the next one and you can see the whole thing. That's right. Oh, I have this exact, is this this exact? I think I have this exact edition of this book. Yeah, they're always in the fish tin, I believe. <laughs> it, I, I don't like the fish thing. <laughs> no. But I also didn't like the book, so I guess it, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Next one. Uh, before the coffee gets cold? Yes. Oh, I didn't remember the exact name of it. But yeah, this has been all over bookstagram and booktube i think this is yes this is a japanese novel right yeah i really liked it and i think they now did a short story collection as well of this but the like the little uh the cat and the chairs it's so iconic okay next one my favorite book the song really? of achilles yes <laughs> oh, oh i didn't even know that madeline miller I love this book so much. <laughs> yeah, her books are amazing. Next one. I just read this book. <laughs> really? I'm making this too easy for you. <laughs> we have always lived in the castle by Shirley Jackson. Yes, I was Andy. reading it when we were filming your video. Actually. Really? Yes. Oh. I literally just finished it. Oh, these were so wonderful. Ah, oh, a classic. The yes. Great Gatsby. Yes, I had to include this one, but because the cover as well, it's a classic cover. It's iconic, definitely. Yes. And I, I'm just noticing how sad the eyes are on this cover. They're making me sad a little bit. <laughs> it is funny that if you like uh, remove the type that you suddenly look better at the images. It's yes, pretty cool. you start noticing things. Thank you for playing with us these three games that we prepared for each other. Mm -hmm. um, That's so much fun. Yes, this was incredible. Guys, let us know how you did in the comments. What did you think? Did you guess the Russian and the Dutch? <laughs> Which one was easier? I'm really curious. <laughs> yes, because if you don't know these languages which one is easier to decipher i'm guessing dutch just because it's a little closer to english thank you so much for playing with me thank you so much for all the ideas because you really worked very hard on getting all the concepts together for this video and i think you did such a good job and that's it hope you had fun we definitely had a blast let us know in the comments below how you did and again remember to check out the sister video to this one on milana's channel watch us struggle over literary quizzes Thank you for joining us today. If you want a little more, Milena did like three or two or three extra images for the first game and I will put the link to that like bonus material in the description as well. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.